The Long March 7, Chinese, Zhang Zheng Qi Hao Yun Zai Huo Jian or Chang Zheng 7 as in Pinyin, abbreviated LM7 for export or CZ7 within China, originally Long March 2 FH or Chang Zheng 2 FH, nicknamed Ice Arrow. Chinese, Bing Jian is a Chinese liquid fueled carrier rocket of the Long March family, developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. It made its inaugural flight on June 25, 2016. Designed as a replacement of the Long March 2F, Long March 7 and its variants are expected to be the workhorse of the fleet, eventually accounting for around 70% of all Chinese launches. Long March 7 will also play a critical role in the Chinese space station. It was used to launch the Tianzhou robotic cargo spacecraft, and will eventually replace the Long March 2F as China's crew-rated launch vehicle. History The Long March 7 project started in 2008 with the formation of the development team within the traditional designer of space launch vehicles, CALT. With the acquisition of the RODE 120 technology and development of the YF-100 and YF-115 engines, the original plan was to re-engine the Long March 2F. The Long March 2F, H, as it would have been called, would just switch from N204, UDMH to a LOX, kerosene propellant and improved thrust engines to offer better performance. But the switch resulted in a cascade of changes that increased the project complexity significantly. At the same time, the original Long March 5th project was expected to include heavy, medium, and light versions. Since the Long March 2 FH and the medium Long March 5th had significant overlaps, it was decided to merge both projects. This way, the high reliability and flight legacy components and technologies of the Long March 2F were merged with the new technologies developed for the Long March 5th. Although finished nearly at the same time, the Long March 6th was a completely separate product developed by a young team within SAST. As such, it shares little more than tank diameters and propulsion with the LM5 and LM7, but does cover the range of payloads between the medium Long March 7 and the very light Long March 11. In 2010, the project name was changed officially to Long March 7. According to the project deputy manager, Zhang Tao, the project required 11 new major technologies. But the innovation was not only at the product level, but one at the process itself. This was, according to the project manager, Wang Xiaojin, the first time the whole process was developed in digital 3D, using computer aided design directly to computer aided manufacturing. The inaugural flight was successfully performed on June 25, 2016, at 12 o'clock HSUTC from the Wenchang LC 2 launch pad. It launched in the LM7 configuration with enhanced by the also debuting Yuanzhong 1A stage, which performed its multi-orbit mission successfully. <laughs> <laughs> Design The Long March 7 is the medium lift variant of a new generation rocket family that includes the heavier lift Long March 5 and the small mid cargo Long March 6. The structure is based on the reliable, man rated Long March 2F rocket. It inherited the 3.35 m diameter core stage and 2.25 m diameter liquid rocket boosters. Where the earlier Long March 2nd rocket family used expensive and dangerous N204, UDMH propellants, the Long March 7th uses LOX and kerosene. The engines are shared with the Long March 5th and 6th. The goal was to build a more cost-effective and less hazardous rocket family to replace today's Long March 2nd and eventually the Long March 3rd. It will be capable of placing a 5,500 kg 12, payload into a sun-synchronous orbit. <laughs> Stages The Long March 7 inherits the modular stages of the original Long March 5 project. As such, its first stage is the same module as the LM-5 boosters. 
It also shares tank diameters and engines with the Long March 6, but the design groups were completely different. The LM5 and LM7 were developed by CALT, while the LM6 was done by SAST. Even the avionics are different, the basic Long March 7 can be optimized by varying the number of boosters or enhanced by the addition of upper stages. These stages allow more mission flexibility, like direct injection to higher orbits or multiple orbit deployment. They can also increase the performance significantly. Thanks to this modularity, performance can be dialed between 4T 4.4 tons and 13.5T 14.9 tons for LEO, 2T 2.2 tons and 8T 8.8 tons for SSO and 4T 4.4 tons and 7T 7.7 tons to GTO. Topic: <laughs> Boosters The Long March 7 can use zero, two or four boosters using RP-1, LOX propellant. They are powered by a single oxidizer-rich staged combustion YF-100 engine. Each booster supplies 1,200 kN lbf at sea level and 1,340 kN lbf in vacuum of thrust. Its specific impulse is 300 seconds, 2.9 kilometers per second at sea level and 335 seconds, 3.29 kilometers per second in vacuum. Each module has its own single axis thrust vector control and thus it required a special design in the control systems of the rocket to coordinate all the rocket's nozzles. They use the legacy 2.25 meters, 7 feet 5 in width of the Long March 2nd and Long March 3rd families, but due to the increased thrust of the YF100 with respect to the YF20 and YF25, the boosters are almost twice as long at 27 meters, 89 feet. A Long March 7th rocket booster created a fireball visible from portions of Utah, Nevada, Colorado, Idaho and California on the evening of July 27, 2016. Its disintegration was widely reported on social media, and the uncontrolled re-entry of such a five-ton object was regarded as a rare event. Topic. First stage The first stage has 3.35 meters (11.0 feet) diameter tanks carrying RP-1 LOX propellant. It is powered by two YF-100 engines, sharing the same propulsion elements as the boosters, only that for the first stage the engines can gimbal in two axis. Also, this first stage is the same basic module as the Long March 5th boosters. The diameter was designed for land transport and as such, it will be able to launch from all the Chinese launch site. This is a critical difference to the LM-5 that requires water transport for its core stages. While it shares diameter and engines with the Long March 6 first stage, the development were completely separated and done by different groups. Topic. Second stage. The second stage also shares the first 3.35 meters (11.0 feet) diameter tanks and propellant. It is powered by four oxidizer-rich staged combustion RP-1 LOX YF-115 engines. Two are fixed and two can gimbal in two axis. It offers 706 kilonewtons lbf) of thrust in vacuum with a specific impulse of 341.5 seconds (3.349 kilometers per second). While it shares engines with the Long March 6 second stage, the development were completely separated and done by different groups. Topic: Optional stages. Topic. Yuanzhong 1A It can use the Yuanzhong 1A upper stage to increase payload to higher energy orbits and enable multiple ignition missions. Particularly, allows direct injection to SSO orbits. 
The inaugural flight successfully used this upper stage to deliver multiple payloads to different orbits. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hydrogen stage. The Long March 7 is expected to be enhanced by a high-energy liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen stage. This stage and the low inclination of Wenchang would enable to launch payload between 4T tons and 7T tons to GTO orbit. That would be a 25% increase with respect to the previously most powerful Chinese launcher, the Long March 3B, but well below the Long March 5th. In the 2013 presentation of variations, a hydrogen powered stage was also used as a second stage. It was not clear if it would be the same stage used as the second stage, or a different stage. In both cases, second and third stage, they would be powered by the YF-75 or the YF-75D. Topic: <inaudible> Solid boosters. The 2013 presentation of the variation also proposed smaller 2 meters (6 feet 7 in) diameter solid boosters as a cheaper option for smaller payloads. Topic. Avionics After the inaugural flight, Song Jungyu, Deputy Chief Control Systems Designer for the Long March 7th project, stated that the flight had proven indigenous avionics. They had to work with the local industry to develop space-rated dual-processor PLCs. It was also stated that the real-time operating system was also an indigenous development. The general design was based on a distributed architecture to enable scalability and fault tolerance. This avionics would be the base for most future developments and had been designed with reusability in mind. Topic: 2013 proposed variations. In a paper published on the manned spaceflight publication of the CMSEO, the Long March 7 was presented as a family of launch vehicles. The variations would be codified by a two-number plus variable letters code, and a CZ7 prefix in the form CZ7 hash hash. The first digit would mean the number of stages in the core, which could be either two or three. The second number would mean the number of boosters, which could be 0, 2 or 4, with an S appended if the boosters were of solid type. There was also proposed an alternative second stage powered by the LH, LOX propellant and dual YF-75 engines would be identified by appending an HO to the designation. At last, it could have an additional upper stage, later identified as the Yuanzheng 1A, that would be identified by appending to the designation SM. For example, the version that debuted was codified under this nomenclature as the CZ 724 SM, since it had two RP 1 LOX core stages, four liquid boosters, and was enhanced by the Yuanzheng 1A stage. A CZ 720 would have two RP 1 LOX stages and no boosters. A CZ724S would have a RP-1, LOX first stage, a LH, LOX second stage and four solid boosters. A CZ732 would have two RP-1, LOX stages, a LH, LOX third stage, and two liquid boosters. The paper expected the following performance from certain versions. The paper also presented the propulsion options for each stage. The RP-1, LOX second stage had only two YF-115 instead of the normal four, when used in the version with no boosters. It might have implied a different smaller upper stage or an underfilled one. <laughs> List of launches <laughs>